how have the the reactions been so far yeah i i i have uh, i believe that uh, the most uh, of all the media has been ve uh, very kind uh, they have uh, the many of them many of them uh, say that you say that uh, it's the best record we have done uh, and uh, and 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 many actually it's many of um, the media that uh, says uh, di have different favorite songs and and i um, I, I, uh, I i will i am very glad because uh, then it's then sev many people have different favorites and mm -hmm. and i i really like that uh, so um uh, if you if we take uh, earlier albums like the ghost so we have uh, uh, the main the main song that people reminds is Cap captain saint d and uh, from the first album it's my heart uh, but this album i believe many many say ma many people say different songs uh, I spoke to a journalist the other day, and uh, he he had the Gates of uh, Paradise uh, as his favorite song, mm -hmm. uh, and um, so so it changes from uh, from people to people actually, and uh, I I'm I, I like that it because um, uh, then I think the whole album it can be great. Uh, I, I think I, I really hope that uh, people will uh, have some uh, emotion from every song uh, yeah. on the album. That, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that 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 means that the the album is is really diverse and that the 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 album is uh, you know uh, very although being very diverse, it's very. Um, strong as a whole you know it's not one song that's very good and then the other ones are lower and the album is very strong and very co very cohesive too yes now uh, this so, is um this is uh, sorry yeah right go on <laughs> this is your uh, your second album from your second life um when did you write these songs were they all written after the, the last album uh, yeah, uh, all of them uh, except Final Fight. Uh, the, the third song on the album uh, was actually a song that I wrote uh, with, an, uh, with another friend uh, several, several years ago. It's where, it was back then when we actually um, recorded our first album in Shadows Lost from the Brave. So that song is really old. Uh, uh, and I, 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 we haven't find uh, found a way to use that song uh, before, and um, and so after we released Ghost, I uh, I started to okay I I, I checked with my uh, with the songs I I, I have uh, I have this my phone I I, I recorded. Uh, a lots of melodies when yeah. you know uh, you you walking on the street and ah okay then no 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 all right okay let's play it. let's record it uh, so I have a bunch of those uh, those ideas and when I listen to it so uh, uh, suddenly final fight came up and ah okay M maybe it's time to use that song. Um, so uh, uh, that song, uh, uh, I I I, I uh, talked with the guys in the band, and they said that yeah, okay, fine, let's do it, uh, let's do this song. Um, uh, uh, the, the song had has uh, yeah, it it has grown uh, <laughs> since yeah. the fifteen years. <laughs> so so now was the time to record it. Um, so, uh, Final Fight is the oldest song that we got. Uh, so, uh, all of them, all other songs is uh, is from uh, uh, when we released Ghost and newer. Uh. Yeah, and what kind of uh, rearrangements did you do to Final Fight? Uh, 
Na, do, those arrangements, those uh, that I, uh, um, I, I didn't change the 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 song so much, but but I changed the arrangement in the strings, in the choirs, and um, the solo the solo guitar section I changed, and uh, and we had to change key because. Uh, when we recorded the demo back in the days, uh, it was um, uh, another singer that, uh, that that sang it then. Mm-hmm. So uh, John Ture is his his voice is uh, so much higher and so much po- more power. Uh, so we had to change key uh, w- w- when we recorded it also. Um, but uh, yeah, I I like it. Uh, d- do you like that song? Yeah, I do. I think it's one of the best in the album. And uh, okay. I, I can't understand why it has been so so much time without being published. <laughs> <laughs> no, me either. Actually, um, I I think that when we when we released our uh, uh, Ghost album, it uh, it has gone so much time from the pandemonium. So. We had a bunch of songs that we wanted to record to that album. Uh, so, so back then, I did. I, I even not uh, uh, thinking about the final fight as a as a song on our albums. But on on this one, uh, it 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 felt right, mm-hmm. and. Uh, and and uh, uh, I think it's a mid-tempo song, and uh, it's a good hook on the chorus. Mm-hmm. And um, so, so um, no, now was the time. And it was a br- it was a brilliant timing as well. Yeah. Um, now, apart from uh, from that song, all your other songs were written like that, that you said, right? You recorded the melody, and then you wrote the song. Hmm. All of them like that, or did you uh, uh, like uh, change your composition process in in any of the songs? Yes, uh, in 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 one way. Uh, usually, I always start with the melody uh, because I'm. When I was a boy, I I really really liked to listen to uh, melodies. You know, um, like yeah, Iron Maiden, uh, Halloween. And all those kind of bands that have uh, really nice melodies. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, so, so uh, uh, in so I usually start with the melody, and then I arrange the chords uh, from that melody. That I okay, and I I, I kind of like this melody. And uh, and uh, when you arrange the chords, maybe you change the melody a little bit. So mm-hmm. uh, and. And uh, and then when I send the songs to John Ture, uh, and he he do he does all the lyrics, and he also then yeah okay yeah I wanna do this part I wanna change this part and I I, I like this mm-hmm. melody but I wanna go this way instead but yeah go on yeah and he he has fantastic uh, uh, feelings for melody too so both me and John Ture really like melodies and. Uh, so we we are fighting for do the best <laughs> melody. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, actually, uh, we have uh, some new kind of sound. Uh, uh, if you have, uh, if you take "Race Hell," for instance, uh, that that song I uh, I wrote with a riff. I tune down the guitar. Um, usually, we play with drop D. Uh, uh, you know, when you're tuning down the lowest E yeah. string, one whole step. Uh, but uh, on um, Ray Cell, I tune it down to C, uh, a whole step more. And um, and and I started to uh, to to practice some riffs and. Uh, uh, so, so actually, "Race Hell" was the song that the first song that I did with only a rhythmic. Uh, you, you had a rhythmic riff that you so uh, so so then I started to do that song from a guitar riff and and um, I I like to do that because in the in the beginning I, I am a guitar player and and uh, I, I like to do songs just with the guitar 
so uh, but sometimes you just forgot to uh, uh, some some ways uh, um, I, I'm more used to start with a melody but now now I started yeah. to uh, uh, with the with the riff instead and and I I kind of like the result. Uh, it's uh, uh, those songs that are more uh, C-tune are, uh, I think, a little bit more heavy metal, more, more, uh, yeah. uh, uh, not, not trash or, but, but, but anyway, mm -hmm. a little bit harder if you compare yeah. it with Final Fight. Uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, and I, w what do you like, Raycel? Do you like that song? Uh, it's not my favorite on the album. No? I I prefer any focus on the on the melodies, but it's still a, a great song. You know, as I said, this album is very 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 strong in its own. But yeah, but because yeah. uh, I'm also more of a, of a, a Iron Maiden and Halloween guy, and, you know, a good riff is always good too. But I prefer when uh, when the focus is on the melody, and that's what you yeah. you always do, right? You focus on the melody, you try to to get the best melodies you can, and then you write the songs from it, and it's a great process. Yeah, I I believe that too, um, and uh, uh, and and every 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 person who writes songs write in a different way. Yeah, uh, uh, I I have met people that start with a chord changes and and uh, and build a melody uh, around the chord changes, and I have uh, several people that start with a riff, you know, and start with a groove in the band, and then the melody came, uh, uh, and uh, so it, it's so many ways to work on a song. Um, um, actually, there are many I. Ways. Yeah, I um, the other day I, I with my students I um, I let them watch a movie uh, a, a clip from a movie mm. and uh, uh, and they and the um, the thing was that they uh, 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 should improvise uh, play us on the piano or the guitar and improvise a music to that music to that uh, movie clip and and that was a really uh, cool thing because the students got very much inspiration uh, it, it it was a clip uh, on a in a forest just so you can you you can you could use uh, nice fine uh, classical melodies or you could more uh, and you could if you want the more go to a horror movie sound or something like mm -hmm. that. So, uh, and uh, and they just improvise to that movie clip, and uh, uh, actually, it was really great ideas that they came up with. So, so I I got actually a little inspired to try that too. It, it, yeah. Imagine that you uh, uh, you have no no sound, just the picture mm -hmm. and, and in the movie. And have some clips uh, from whatever clip it yeah. now would be, and then just improvise. What kind of feeling can I do here? So uh, I I uh, I will try to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And those those ideas that your students came up with, are you going to use them in the, in the next Saint <laughs> Demon songs? <laughs> yeah, I, I have to ask nice then, but. <laughs> <laughs> But and no, it, it was just a uh, uh, practice for them. But uh, I, I, uh, I, I really got inspired. That, okay, they uh, they really can uh, play some good music just with a with a short movie clip. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I like that idea. Yeah, and maybe in the future also it's in theme would be a great idea. Yeah, and maybe Saint Demon do a movie music. <laughs> <laughs> Could also be. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, now, uh, moving on to the the lyrical part of the record. What does this album talk about lyrically? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. It's uh, you should actually talk with John Ture with that. But uh, John Ture. It's uh, is he has write, written a lot with uh, uh, some 
how to say it. I I, I have uh, some uh, so uh, sheet here. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, he 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 has written a lot of the psychological fights that you have mm-hmm. with yourself um, or the psychological fights you had uh, on the on these uh, battlefields mm-hmm. uh, you know uh, and uh, so he has uh, he he had um, uh, um, go really go uh, into himself and uh, do the lyrics uh, from his heart and and uh, and uh, and the lyrics that came out is is a really a very much strug- struggling with the, mm-hmm. the psychological um, feelings inside you mm-hmm. and uh, so um, is it uh, is it a special lyric you like or uh, no I, I, now that you're saying that um, I'm wondering how does that uh, uh, all those uh, struggles relate to the to the, the title of the album? It's the League of the Serpent. Uh, I was thinking more of uh, a epic theme, maybe. You know, also the cover indicates that. Oh yeah, yeah. I, and and actually, uh, League of the Serpent. Uh, when when uh, John Tudor wrote that song, uh, that lyric, he. Um, we all felt that we are just when we heard the name League of the Serpent. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's real. It sounds really good. <laughs> <laughs> can we, can we have that as an album title? And um, and uh, yeah, and we 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 talk about it and and uh, uh, and <laughs> yeah, it it, it becomes uh, it, that 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 was the title and. It was actually just because we all like the 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 sound yeah. uh, of League of the Serpent. <laughs> so. Yeah, it sounds really good, and yeah. I think it, it it allowed you to to create a, a great cover. Who was responsible for it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, actually, League of the Serpent was uh, uh, a, a thing that we did together in uh, in our drummer Alfred's uh, rehearsal room. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had it uh, that riff, and uh, we, we started to play on that riff, uh, and uh, uh, started to building some grooves, um, and uh, and and we we thought that okay, this this might be a good song, and I, I took it home to my place and I started to arrange it, uh, 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 <laughs> Uh, get the the song the structure that mm-hmm. the song uh, w- would needed, and I sent it to John Tore that uh, did a remarkable things. Uh, he uh, that uh, that verse uh, he he sent me first uh, the verse, and uh, it was so amazing verse. I I really <laughs> uh, I I I, uh, I will never forget it when. I, I've sent away, okay, I like this kind of, it's okay, I thought. And then John Tore sent it back and but yes, okay, <laughs> it's, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, uh, but, uh, so, so actually League of the Serpent is the only song that uh, was created in the rehearsing room. Yeah, uh, yeah we, we, we just had some fun and uh, play some ideas and uh, uh, actually th- the thing was that we should do was to rehearse uh, for a gig mm-hmm. uh, on on our old songs but uh, uh, but yeah one way or another it um, started to do some riffs and but yeah okay let's try so so it was really great it was like uh, when when I started to play in the band on the 80s uh, when when we started to write songs in the rehearsal room and mm-hmm. and um, today I just sit with my computer and do songs <laughs> here. It, it, it's not it, it's not uh, not the same uh, thing. No, no, it's yeah. not. This is also your your first album uh, with AFM Records. How did yeah. you establish this this partnership? Oh, it was uh, it was because of Timo Hoffman. Um, 
when we when we released Pandemonium, um, it uh, it it was an album that did not sell very well. Um, and uh, so Frontiers back then they dropped us because no we we want you to sell more records and you you don't do that and so uh, uh, thank you but uh, here's the thing so so they dropped us and and then we didn't know what to do uh, we started to uh, write songs for the ghost album and uh, started um, to to record them and so on um and uh, w- when we had recorded uh, the most of the songs uh, our uh, bass player nobby uh, mm-hmm. had an email from no our bass player sent an email to timo hoffman and uh, timo replied that uh, so he he had just started a small record label that called ram it down Mm-hmm. Um, so actually it was Timo that, uh, that, uh, uh, that was the guy that we could really release the ghost album so we, we released it on his uh, label uh, in uh, uh, Ram It Down and, um, and yeah and uh, it was great we, everything worked perfectly and so on uh, but uh, then the pandemic uh, came, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, and it started to okay. How what shall we do now? And, and Timo, uh, um, he, he wasn't sure that he he could continue with uh, Ram It Down Records. So uh, uh, and he works on AFM. So. Um, when when he uh, uh, called us up and uh, and uh, and uh, said that he uh, had to uh, uh, yeah 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 put the record label down, mm-hmm. uh, he asked if we were like interested in AFM, and yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> of course, <laughs> uh, yeah uh, yeah I, yes we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so like why, he, he, uh, why didn't he, he mention it in the first place? With, uh, yeah, oh, sorry. It's like why didn't he mention it in the first place for the ghost album? No, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he so he arranged a meeting with me, uh, Nobby, and uh, and Timo and uh, Nils, uh, the the uh, yeah the owner, I think, of AFM. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, we we uh, spoke for an hour and and uh, and it felt so great and mm-hmm. and actually we are so happy to uh, to be on that label because it's so uh, fantastic people that that's mm-hmm. working there we have uh, uh, we had it, it feels it feels like we got uh, new friends actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, they they always reply fast to our emails and if we, if we can call them if we want uh, we, they they are they are always available um, yeah. and so nice to chat with and and so on so so uh, uh, actually it's a great company I think and uh, it's mm-hmm. perfect for us. Uh, they got all these fantastic bands uh, and um, many followers. Yeah. So, um, uh, so yeah, we are, uh, and and um, and and they have did they have done a so fantastic job with uh, with the albums and. Mm-hmm. So uh, the they uh, the vinyls will will show up any day now and. Um, we uh, we already had the CDs uh, from the league and yeah and also uh, uh, our two first albums in Shadows Lost from the Brave and Pandemonium has been for many years sold out so yeah. so we we have yeah you are to release it yeah they did yeah. a new release yes mm-hmm. so finally we can uh, when we go out and play we can. Uh, people can buy it uh, and it's it feels so great or they can order it at the AFM's homepage yeah um, uh, but 
so it, it has been very frustrating for us that we, it, we okay, sorry, we, we don't have any left. Uh, yeah. So uh, so that was a really great. So now uh, now um, finally uh, everyone can buy all of all our albums. Now uh, moving on to the the cover of the album, can you tell us mm. who was uh, responsible for it? Yeah, his 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 name is Thomas Holmstrand, and uh, uh, he lives uh, uh, 40, 50 kilom kilometers. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, uh, from me. Uh, I live in a, in a city called Örebro and he lives uh, in Degefors. It's a, it's a 40 minutes drive from my place. Uh, he, uh, he's, a, he's so fantastic and uh, uh, he has done uh, all of our covers except the first one. And uh, uh, every cover we have been so satisfied. Um, and he's so uh, easy and great to work on. Uh, if there is something we don't like, we just uh, send in a mail. And he's, mm -hmm. he's so fast and work, works so fast in Photoshop. And, um, and actually, very m many of the pictures he, he draw by hand mm -hmm. uh, on, on a right board. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you know. Yeah. So uh, uh so he, he many of the picture he's writing by hand and then he um he used Photoshop of course to um so so he he's fantastic and his wife has uh, taken the picture and um uh, so we we uh, we went home for him uh for a weekend and uh Uh, uh, he he had this um, uh, the, the first we, we watched the first outcast on the album cover, and uh, we, we did a photo shoot and uh, and we had some ideas on the cover and so on. And he uh, it, it's it's kind of every idea I have, he he just can fix it. It's, uh, I, I don't know how we do that. Um, so yeah, we are very, we are very happy to work with him. I can I can really uh, say that uh, Thomas Holmstrand is a great uh, designer. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, if if some bands listen to the to this, uh, I can really recommend him. Uh, so so nice guy and. Uh, um, uh, Yeah, and uh, uh, always uh, replies on mails and always yeah. uh, like that. So uh, he's great, actually. Yeah, and after so much time working with him, we're working with him. You know, it, uh, as he done uh, other album um, covers for you, he can almost read your mind on what you want as well. So that that's mm. great. And which kind of, of guidelines did you give him for this for this cover? Yeah, we 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 wanted. Uh, We had that idea, you know. We 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 had uh, have that uh, ship uh, that sails uh, on the other covers. Uh, this time we felt that uh, ah, should we have that ship again? Uh, we we sort of uh, has been a little bit tired of that. So, but uh, so we spoke to him and and he suggested that yeah, maybe maybe we can be on land but mm -hmm. by the sea and mm -hmm. uh, we spoke to him that have this uh, number four on the on the back side mm -hmm. uh, in this iv you know this um, yeah. four uh, as the album four and um, and we uh, uh, Yeah, and that we, we uh, earlier we had we have had this mascot uh, called Captain Saint Demon. Uh, John Ture is, uh, is sometimes written uh, lyrics by of him, and uh, this time uh, it it was the shape of uh, the woman that on the front cover, mm -hmm. uh, and. Um, And, and the snakes were there after when the Thomas heard about uh, the, that we thought that we were thinking to call the album League of the Serpent. Yeah. Uh, so so uh, the album is 
uh, it's a little bit straightforward and it's a little bit uh, that you have to think of yourself uh, mm -hmm. what, what, how do you say I imagine uh, by yourself I should say yeah, yeah um, and it's it's fun because the as you were saying the boat that was the 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 main part of your other covers now it's just in a uh, in a corner like I uh, was that boat is kind of uh, your your mascot by now yeah it's, it yes. features in all your album covers why do you uh, uh, decided to put it that on the side. Yeah, uh, I, I think we. The, the main thing I think it was because we, on the other albums, we always had that ship that ship, as the main thing, mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, we actually get a little bored of that. So we wanted to do a kind of new thing. Uh, but but uh, but to uh, but uh, also we'd like to have that ship. Of course, it's like you say, it's our mascot. <laughs> it uh, it has been and and uh, and uh, uh, we we do a little so a little uh, some songs. The first song, um, "Break of Dawn." Uh, mm -hmm. uh, ha has that Captain Saint Demon type of style that uh, Captain St. Demon had on the Ghost album. Uh, so uh, so the, the, there are two songs that are in, in a way similar to each other, uh, but uh, and um, so the mascot is returning uh, also in, in, some, in some of the songs. Yeah. And uh, now moving on, uh, which are your touring plans for this album? Oh, 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 sorry, say again. Which are your touring plans? You know your your shows, what you have planned so far for this album? Oh, oh, we don't have any plans. <laughs> I'm I'm afraid. Uh, you, uh, we have uh, we are struggling so much to to uh, uh, that we can be able to go out on tour. Um, uh, because it, it's so many countries that we hasn't played in. We had we have never played in Germany. Uh, yeah, and and we you, have are, never... you, have, you never came to Portugal either, have you? No, no Portugal, yeah. no Spain, uh, and uh, so uh, it, it's so many countries that we hasn't haven't been in, and and. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, uh, we really, really hope that we, we can do a support tour. Uh, that is our goal, actually. Um, but uh, we, we have so many times been on the edge to get on uh, a support tour with uh, different kind of bands. But Always we have uh, loss, losses, <laughs> and uh, so. Uh, but it's our dream is, of course, to do a nightliner tour in Europe. Uh, we uh, because uh, we want so much to uh, to be to be able to play for you out there. We, we have played a lot in uh, in the north, um, uh, Norway, Sweden, uh, some gigs in Finland, and so on. And and actually, we we are a good live band, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, unfortunately, we we don't we we have never been able to get on a big tour. Actually, so uh, yeah, uh, we are really hope that. Uh, that this time uh, maybe we can get the chance to get out on a support tour because we, we, we need to be a support band because we are we, we, we don't have so much fans uh, mm -hmm. we, we, we need to work it up uh, mm -hmm. and, and many media people are telling when they write some um, when they're writing our reviews uh, many of them say that 
uh, yeah, okay, this band, I, I have never heard about this band before. Mm -hmm. And I was really surprised, everyone say. So, but, um, so, so uh, we, I believe that we have to go out on tour to just uh, um, uh, play and, uh, and hopefully uh, our fans and, and uh, people that like metal will come and listen to us. It, was, it, it would be so great. Yeah, hopefully this album will, will give you that. And if the chance comes to come to Portugal and don't, don't waste it, I would love to see you here. It would be great yeah. to see a St. Demon show and to yeah. see you in person. Um, uh, thank you. I, I, I promise I will, I, I will contact you with. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think that's it. Thank you so much. It was an honor. Uh, would you like to send any message to your Portuguese fans? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, thank you very much, all of you that, um, that just listened to the album. Uh, uh, I, I really, really hope that you will enjoy it. And, and uh, and of course, hope to get in Portugal to play for you. Of course, 